Talking about Minecraft. Talking about Minecraft. Talking about Minecraft. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft World 1 with me, Jonathan Wolf 038. Alright, so if you recall, last time we left off with me precariously perched on a high platform. <laughs> and it was uh, somewhere right over here where I exited the cave that I appeared in thanks to that nether portal. Yeah, I was right up overhead here. And yeah. So what I decided though was that was a long treacherous way back to my portal so what I needed to do was come up with a better way. I also needed to come up with somewhere safe. So what I did was this hill was already here um, except for this little squarish outer bit and I just dug into it and made a little home. So let me show you. This is a direct tunnel down to uh, my portal. That's why I put that little chunk of obsidian right there um, to remind me. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, it goes straight down and I drop out right in front of it. It's perfectly safe, that area is, and so yeah, it's right there. And uh, basically, I could go into it, go into the portal, walk down that long hallway, back into the other portal, and I'd be right back home. So yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, this is the little dirt house. <laughs> There's nothing special about it right now, but it works. Um, an interesting thing, the update, which hasn't happened yet, but should be eh, four or five days, I guess, um, 1.4, will add the ability to make beds work as spawn points. Now, the compass will always point to your original spawn point. However, the bed will work as a sort of mini spawn point. So, um, if I have slept in the bed here, say last, and I go exploring over here somewhere and I die, I'm not going to go all the way back home even though I have a way back here. I don't want to worry about it. Now, if I go way off to another spot and I make another house and put another bed and then that would work as my spawn point. And if I wanted to get back here, I'd have to follow my compass all the way back home and then enter the nether and come back out here. So it's interesting. Um, I think it'll be pretty neat. Uh, it makes long distance exploring, um, I don't know, more fun, I guess. Um, okay, so, uh, I've looked around the area a little bit, haven't done a lot. I gathered a good bit of wood and then planted a ton of saplings. It's really crazy now with the trees, how many saplings you get. But, yeah, I made this area full of trees that weren't here before. Um, uh goodies. Um, anyway, right, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, these trees. Um, I heard that there is a chance that when you plant a sapling you'll get one of these, but I don't think that's actually true. I mean, every time I've ever planted a sapling I just get the regular tree, which is kind of, I don't know, I think it's something that needs to be addressed because especially when you're in the snowy biomes and you get those really cool tall pine or fir trees, whatever they are, and uh, those things are really neat, but if you cut them down, you're not going to have them anymore. Um, I think that it should be, you know, depending on where the biome is, I think you should have a random chance of getting these all the time, and I think if you're in a snowy area, you should be able to get the big fir trees or whatever, so I got something they need to work on, but anyway, I haven't looked around here a lot. Um, there is, uh, there are a couple of these little sunken pond things and um, there is uh, a cave over here which I haven't looked into Let's make my way through all these trees um, I think it's let's see this is one of those broken ground things which I always think is kind of strange but anyway um, yeah this isn't a cave though there's like really no excuse for this <laughs> at all but um here it is. here's no I don't know let me look yes I think this is a cave and maybe here or no that just circles around what about over here 
Oh, oh, wait. No, that doesn't. No, that's just that. So that could be a cave. Or, yeah, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Looks kind of on the smaller side. Some iron, though. Yep, I hear you. I don't think there's anything in here though. Too close to the surface. Right. Alright, so nothing there. I didn't really want to do a whole lot of cave exploration anyway. Done so much of that. <laughs> I didn't really need that, did I? Doesn't matter, I probably won't be coming back down here again anyway. Oh. Hmm. Um, this is a weird thing. It's like a moat or something. <laughs> Very strange. Um, anyway, yeah, but this is a pretty cool area. Um, is that a cave? <laughs> I say, I don't want to look, uh, do any more cave explorations, and I'm like, oh, look again. Mm, no, there's more broken ground, I guess. Hmm. Don't really need this right now. Seem to always have plenty of coal, but then <laughs> you watch that one time when I really need a lot of it. I'm not gonna have any. <laughs> anyway, um, didn't want to make this a super long episode. Just wanted to basically explain where I was, what I was doing here. Um, I recently started uh, my second world LP. Um. Hopefully nobody's too confused about the whole name change and the fact that they're on different playlists and things like that. But um, I think it's going to be cool in the long run, especially when I add a third world. And it's going to be really neat. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. Just wanted to basically say I'm not stuck up on that platform and... <laughs> I'm not going to do too much here without you guys knowing. I'm actually going to be building a house next, and you'll be along to see most of that. I know you don't want to see an entire episode spent building, but uh, uh, I know you don't want to be left out either. <laughs> Looks like creepers have exploded here, but they actually have. I only saw like one creeper here. been using that bed a lot, and... Uh, I killed it before it exploded. So anyway, um, yeah. Was there anything else? It's starting to get dark, but was there? Oh yeah, those reeds. I wanted to get those reeds. That's not what I was going to say. Hmm. Anyway, I think this is a really neat area. Um, there's not a whole lot of sand around here like there is at uh, my uh, main home original spawn point. There is some sand over there which I got a little bit of, but uh, I'll have a ton of it. Oh, and there's some over here though. I use a lot of sand for glass, but I also am getting into liking sandstone a bit, as I mentioned in the second world. Oh, it's getting dark, but I want this. I want these reeds. Come on, dude. Hmm. The lighting error over there. Alright, better hurry back. <laughs> Don't want to get caught out here alone in the dark. <laughs> but yeah, um, for those of you who are thinking, why did you build into a hill? Or dig into a hill to live? Whatever. Uh, in a way, it was kind of nostalgia. The first... Um, save file that I had in Minecraft. I did throw up a little dirt hut uh, right off the bat, but then I made my home by digging into a hill <laughs> and then eventually expanding out through the top of it and making a real home out of it. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's only temporary, but I think it's kind of cool. It's, it's 
rustic and it's nostalgic at the same time, so, yeah. Oh, the bed thing. <laughs> I experimented with having it right up against the wall. Not a good idea. <laughs> um, always try to keep your bed like this one is. If it's touching a wall, only at the top. And make sure there's plenty of lights and that all openings to the outside are closed. Because I had a spider up here in here. But I kind of expected it. I just wanted to test it. But as you can see now, should be perfectly safe. Ah, okay. Um, how did that happen? Because I tested this before and it was fine. That's very strange. Huh. Let's try it now. Okay, that was weird, because I had it up against the wall, and a spider came. I moved it to where it was, and I was fine, and I've used it several times. Hmm, that's odd. Things are burning up out there. Alright, anyway, uh, yeah, I wanted to keep this short, and I've rattled on and on. So, um, expect more from this area, more from World 2, and... Uh, the introduction of World 3 in the near future. Thank you for watching. Let's play Minecraft World 1 with me, John the Wolf 03, and I will see you next time. Bye.